just go ahead and what is going on everybody we got a fire unboxing of coral from lax aquariums let's go check it out everyone this box is gonna be fire let's get this box open man i cannot wait to see what's in here uh i seen these on their live sale and i just had to have them just had to have them now let's open this up Oh, dude, check this out. What is this? What is this? Sick. Mask. Oh, man, that is super cool. Look at that. Glasses to look at the corals, man. Dude, that is so cool. Shout out. We got a little button pin here, and we got some stickers. Man, super cool. I was... This is really great right here, I'm loving that. Let's go ahead and look inside this box. Man, look, 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 look. All right, we're gonna pull it out and see what we can see here. Look at this. So there are three corals in this bag. Ha, huh. there are three corals in this bag. Oh my goodness. On the house. Look, dude. Look at that. They sent a free coral, man. It says hook up. There might be more than one coral that's free in this thing. Dude. Man, this is rad. Okay, so uh, go ahead and open this part up. I got to just. Oh. There's a sneak peek, if you guys could see that. Kind of hard to see, but this thing is epic. So I mentioned that I'm a YouTuber and I'm planning on doing an unboxing. Look at this. I'm coming up on 20K subs and they sent me a freebie. Look at this. Dude. Hitting it out of the park. Look at that. That one says hookup. Oh, dude, it's an SPS frag. Ha! Ah! What? Jeez. Look at this thing on the house. Let's get these corals acclimated to the tent. Man, this is just, this is just awesome. I can't believe that freebies and stuff, man. What a dude. So, um, I got the water lowered here because I know adding these in here is going to make that water level rise and stuff. Once we get them in there, I'm going to turn the light out, let them sit here to the temperature acclimation for probably about 30 minutes and then, uh, go on to the next step. Ten corals, man. Okay, gotta turn that light out. And come back in 30 minutes. All right, let's do it. Let's get the bags opened up so we could get the coral into the foam container so that we could get them dipped in the iodine. Like I said, guys, this is just incredible. I am so happy that I found LAX Aquariums because, trust me, I have been extremely, extremely happy with what I have received and how the sales go. All right, so we are done. We are double the amount of water that was in there before. So go ahead and just shut this off now. First things first, we need to get, per the instructions, this is one gallon of water and do one to two capfuls per one gallon. There's one and two and just go ahead and mix it up always double check the foam boxes before you put water in it with the corals that it is going to hold water because sometimes they don't so i would recommend you fill it up and make sure it doesn't leak okay so now we're going to let them sit here for 15 to 30 minutes all right we are set and ready to go it's been a half an hour so we're going to go and start off with one of the corals and we're just gonna go with the turkey baster. You know, come on over here and just, just go ahead and give it a nice little rinse in case anything died on it and didn't come off. 
now that the coral has had some time to sit what we're doing with the turkey baster is just getting some streams of water on them to dislodge any possible pests that may have died from the iodine treatment and then getting them into clean water again we're rinsing them off all right so check that out so we got them all rinsed and um what i'm gonna probably do is get a brush and just do a light little scrub on some of them like we can see some things moving right over in there um, but this is just the first rinse on that first part of using the turkey baster to rinse them off uh, and to get the debris off was the first step. Now with them being in this fresh salt water from the aquarium, it is another form of rinsing them and scrubbing them down to make sure that we got everything off the coral. Look at all that gunk. That's why you dip and you clean your corals. Now the fun part, getting all of the corals mounted onto the plugs so that we can get them into the aquarium I'm going to look for something eventually that's going to allow me to put them into water while they are adhering to the discs. But what you want to do if you're not able to do that is just make sure that you're wetting the coral because we don't want the coral to dry out. But yeah, getting them mounted onto the plugs with some glue. Good times. Oh yeah, we got them all dipped and all that stuff and got them on the plugs. Now the fun part of getting them introduced into the aquarium. Absolutely such a fun time. Look at the brightness on that scoli I just added. Whoo boy. Yeah, these pieces are absolutely fire. They're baller. They're all that good stuff. Wait until you see how these guys look opened up. All right, let's check it out. So we just got them in. So you can see we got one, two, three, four, five hammers. We got a scoli. I believe that's a mushroom over there. We got that acro and this acan. Um, the, and the, um, uh, what is that? A heliofungia. So what you guys could see is I got an RODI tube here and I just used one of these clamps to hold it in place and then ran it down here. And again, then you saw we clamped it on there with that. That's how I set up the drip. All right, guys, check out the new corals. Acan colony settling in. Splatter hammer settling in. Two rainbow wall hammers. Toxic 24K hammer. This is a octospawn. Then we got the uh, heliofungia. The sun scoli a SPS in the back and I think that's a mushroom but yeah man look at that man Chris at LAX Aquariums hooked it up man let's take a top-down shot of the coral so on the right top right is the heliofungia on its left is the SPS then we got the sun scoli and then to the left of the sun scoli I believe is a mushroom then we got the hammers and the frog spawn we got the splatter hammer the yellow hammer the gold hammers and that beautiful Aiken. Now with the pumps off, you can see just how lush everything is looking in the tank with the corals that I had before with the torches and those Aiken frags and the Ghanis and the Blastos. Man, looking just absolutely lush and fantastic along with the new corals from LAX Aquariums. I am so stoked with the coral that I got from LAX Aquariums. Chris, he hooked it up. Um, just fantastic now if you guys want to get in on the action go to facebook look up lax aquariums like the page and then go to the section where you have to enable the live notifications so whenever they go live you will get that notification i'm telling you you're not gonna want to miss out chris is selling colonies guys colonies not just little frags and the pricing is fire the corals fire everything about it is just incredible I couldn't be more excited about my first time buying coral from them. Plus the live sale is full of energy and music. It's a good time. So you're definitely gonna wanna check that out. Now in the comment section down below, what do you guys think of the new coral? Also, I got more coral coming from them that I got. That's gonna be coming soon. So you're not gonna wanna miss it. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't. Man, so excited. Thank you for watching this video, everybody. I hope to read your guys' comments down below on what you guys think of the new coral. 
and all that good stuff. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you guys. Stay tanked.